Hello students, in this tutorial I am going to start part 2 of chapter number 6 that is working with Flash CS3. So your today's content is drawing mode in Flash. So there are two types of drawing mode in Flash. One is merge drawing mode and another is object drawing mode. So let us begin. Make sure that you should have an Adobe Flash installed in your machine. So here is my shortcut icon for Adobe Flash. So let me double click on it. Okay, and you should make sure that you have to select Flash File Action Script 3. So just click on the Flash File Action Script 3. Now you can see the different components of Flash here. So basically there are five different components of the flash. In the last class, you have also learned this one. So let us quickly go through these different components. Now, if you see at the top, you can see the numbers here, one, five, 10, 15. We call this as a timeline. And this timeline is basically used to set the sequence of the content in the movie. So in the later stage, in the later part, when you learn how to create the animations and movies, at that time, I will show you uh, how we can work with the timeline here. So it consists of frames and keyframes. Key now, if you go to the left hand side, we call this as a tool panels and it helps to create or modify the graphics and the text. The one you see at the middle, the white area in the center of the screen, we call this as the stage. And this is the main area where we draw or create an animations. Now, if you go at the bottom half, we call this as an inspector property window. Means whatever shapes you draw or whatever the images you insert, it will display the properties relating to that shape or an image. Uh, let me give you one information that whatever the things you draw on this stage or whatever the images you insert in this stage, we call this as an object. Whatever the images you draw or whatever shapes you draw, we call this an object and shapes in the flash, it consists of stroke or what we call it as outline and fill. So just remember that whatever shapes you draw, it is an object and object consists of two parts. One is stroke and another is fill. Now let me draw one shape and show it to you what is stroke and fill. Now say okay I want to draw a rectangle so let me click on the rectangle tool. Now this is a stroke color and this is a fill color. Right now you can see one red line this shows that stroke color has not been selected let me click here and let me select one stroke color suppose say green so you can see in the properties window the stroke color as well as the fill color now i want to increase the thickness of this strip stroke color and let suppose let me make it nine and i want to fill this particular shape so this is the fill color box click on here so whichever shapes you want to use to fill it simply click on that particular color now drag the mouse button and just draw one shape suppose say rectangle now you can see that this outline the green it's a stroke or outline and the one you can see inside we call it as a fill now if you go to the tool panel at the top you can see this we call this as a selection tool or we can also call it as a arrow tool so we use this tool to either move the object or select an object so let me select this tool now i want to move this particular object from here just click the mouse button drag it and put it here now you can clearly see that the shape has got divided into two parts so this is known as an stroke and this is known as an fill so always remember that whatever you draw on this stage we call it as a shape and it consists of two parts one is stroke and another is fill and both the stroke and fill it can be of the same color or it can be of different colors now let me select it and delete it 
now let us move back to the main agenda that is drawing mode in flash now i have already said you that there are two drawing mode in flash one is mod merge drawing mode and another is object drawing mode so let's say let me select this particular tool the rectangle tool and let me draw one tool now see i have selected the rectangle tool and i don't want to give the stroke color so if you don't want to give the stroke color what you can do is you can see one no color option here just click on this no color option now you can see one red line has appeared means you will not be using a stroke color go to the fill color let me choose one fill color suppose this particular color let me use it now before drawing i just want to focus all of you at the bottom of this tool panel so everyone look at the bottom of this tool panel you will see the object drawing tool here so we call this as an object drawing tool so by default it will it gets selected as a merge drawing tool now let me draw one rectangle here and let me draw one more shape whether it is an oval or a circle now i just want to change the color for this one let me put it suppose say green and let me draw one oval or circle now you see that i have drawn two different shapes one is rectangle and another is circle now in this mode if you overlap two shape they merge together they merge together means they mix together now i just want to separate these two shapes so let me click on the selection tool and let me click here as I click, you can see that it got selected. I just want to separate it. Now, once I separate it, what you can see that the part of the rectangle tool gets erased. So let me take it back to this position again. So again, let me select it and let me drag it. See, you can see that the part of the object gets erased. Similarly, you can also bring it here in this position, no problem and you just select and drag it back to another position you can see the part of the circle get erased so sometimes these are very very helpful when you want to draw different shapes or when you want to create different shapes so we call this as a merge drawing mode so what happens in the merge drawing modes the shapes or the objects it when it gets overlapped it get merged with one another and when you try to separate it what will, what happens the one part of the object it it or what we can say that it erases another part of an object now i want to show you object drawing drawing mode and how it works now let me select it and let me delete this particular now i want to show you the object drawing mode again let me take one shape oval i want to change the fill color and again this time i am not taking the stroke color so you can see the red arrow here means i am not using the stroke color let me use one fill color here now if you go at the bottom one second you can see that this is an object drawing so right now we call this as a merge drawing mode now once you click here what will happen that this particular tools get selected with a thick box here so let me click and let me select it you can see that it has been covered with a thick box here so means this particular uh, drawing tools get selected and now we call this as an object drawing mode now if i click here once again you can see that this uh, object drawing mode is not selected means now it is in the most drawing mode now once you click it it gets selected with a thick black or a thick box so now it is an object drawing mode so let me draw suppose say one oval and again let me draw one rectangle here and let me give one color for the rectangle and let me draw one rectangle now i am going to show you the same things that i have done before with the merge drawing mode now what is the difference between the merge drawing mode and the object drawing mode now in this mode you can separate the objects without cutting or without erasing another objects means shapes do not merge together in this case 
and when you over when you overlay them and you when you separate them it will not get erased now let me go to the selection tool and let me drag this particular area to another part now you can see that i can clearly remove this object from this pos position and i can just place it in another page position without erasing the part of an object so we call this as a object drawing mode so i hope you have understood the difference between object drawing mode and merge drawing mode so what happens in the merge drawing mode when you remove one object from another the part of that object will get erased and in object drawing mode when you remove or when you separate one object from another object that particular the part of that particular object will not get erased or deleted so this is the difference between most drawing mode and object drawing mode so i hope you have understood it so this is all for today and i want all of you to install adobe flash and you can practice this content at home so for today on the business thank you children and do practice 